This video is going to tell you how we generate a nanometer thin metal on a semiconductor surface within only 20 femtoseconds. First, let me remind you what the difference between a semiconductor and a metal is. A semiconductor conducts electricity only semi-well because it has a band gap around the Fermi energy. A metal conducts electricity quite well because the Fermi energy is crossing its conduction band. You can transform a semiconductor to a metal by doping. This means that you purposefully add defects, impurities. You don't need many. 0.1% can be sufficient. The origin of this semiconductor to metal transition is the so-called MOT transition and goes back to electron-electron interaction in the material. It is possible to drive such semiconductor to metal transition also on ultra-fast timescales. This means within femtoseconds. This works by using femtosecond laser pulses. However, it often takes a long time for the material to switch back, sometimes millions of billions of times longer than switching the material on. Often, the reason is that you need a lot of laser light to drive this transition optically. This creates heat that needs to be dissipated, and this takes time. Now, here is what we did. We looked at zinc oxide, a wide bandgap semiconductor. This material is never perfect, as is the case for many semiconductors. It therefore shows defect states just below the Fermi energy. You will see in a moment that, when transforming zinc oxide to a metal, we observe a parabolic band that crosses the Fermi energy. This is an unambiguous proof of metallic zinc oxide. The ultra-fast metallization happens in only 20 femtoseconds after the optical excitation. It becomes stronger and stronger. Electrons delocalize. And then, already after 220 picoseconds, the metal starts decaying. Electrons localize again. This is orders of magnitude faster than observed before. Actually, we generate this metal selectively at the surface of semiconducting zinc oxide. If you like, you could call this a transient two-dimensional electron gas. Close to room temperature and created at 10,000 times lower photon fluxes than in previous studies.